Hello there, YouTube. How's it going? It's been a while, if you ask me. So, I'm basically going to sit you guys down and, you know, talk about Nutri Game in Soul Calendar. Because, you know, there's really not really content out there explaining Nutri Game, so why not? Uh, so, for starters, let's get on with the basics. I want to talk about movement in Soul Calibur. And in movement, well, before I even get to that, let's say, let's talk about what is neutral. Neutral in every fighting game is, you know, you move, you keep, you know, basically, you're moving around and you press specific buttons to keep your opponent occupied. So, for me being a safe read player, at this range, you know, I would know, alright, Keelik is going to use AA or BB, so I'm going to use this. And you just keep moving around. You're looking for openings at a distance where you both are not in combat zone. So, you push buttons, safe buttons, mind you, and you just keep doing pokes. You do good, safe pokes, you keep moving, and you try to get a read on your opponent. So, your opponent is like, um, you know, I'm going to keep doing... Uh, a bunch of vertical attacks, you, you sidestep that thing, you go like, mm, boom, punish. Or if he's moving too much on uh, sidestepping, punish with a horizontal. Or, you know, it's pretty much uh, safe moves, movement, a bunch of things tying together that creates neutral. And every character's neutral can be different. But once you play more, you begin to understand what buttons you're going to use. So, like, at this distance, I'm going to use... Uh, 2A because it's a far range button and it's a nice poking tool. It sets up things, you know. Or when if he, you know, whiffs something, I'm gonna use 6BB because it's a nice whiff punishing tool. So that corresponds into options you're going to use and neutral. But, um, and, and there's other things, but we're gonna get more into it later on. So, first, I want to talk about the movement, right? And in Soul Calibur, it's 8-ray run. And 8-ray run, you, you can move in any direction. Unlike other games like uh, Tekken, where you you can't really move at a diagonal angle because you have to use like some weird Korean backdash to move. But in this game, you can move however you want. On the other hand, you moving this way, you know, can make you prone into counter hits. So in Soul Calibur, they're a movement counter hit. See? Run counter is what it's called. So if you get run countered, uh, you'll be put into a special position where your character is stunned. So you'll most likely be moving a lot at this range. You know, if your character at a lot of range, you're going to be moving a lot at this range. Trying to pick your spots a lot. You know, give them to do something. And you may want to use step guard. Step guard's really good for covering your tracks in case they push a button. You know, every character's sidestep is different. Um, some characters move really fat. Um, sidestep window is really big. Some are really small. Um, it's very character dependent. But movement is ideal in Soul Calibur. But it's only ideal to a certain extent. Once you get this close, you should not move. Moving becomes so dangerous. Um, because a lot of buttons will have a lot of strong tools are counter hit now. This is danger zone. At this point, you should only be using certain buttons. So, uh, a good example will be, uh, what's a good example? So, at this range, I shouldn't use this. This move is super dangerous. It's Safe Reads Launcher. And every character in Soul Calibur has a universal launcher. Safe Reads at this distance is dangerous. Keela can easily do AA or BB to get a punish. I should only be using this at max range. Or if he does something unsafe, you know, you get your punish. Or if you do a whiff punish, bam, you get your damage. But you should never use this up close. You get punished. There's no reason to do it. You know? And that goes for a lot of characters too. So, um, always remember that in movement in this game, you, you do move a lot. And you want to move a lot. You want to pick your spots. But always be aware you don't want to move too much where you get put in a position where a character hits you with a anonymous, you know, 
safe reach anonymous 6b and look at that stun and then now you stuck into a combo and then now he has the you know the momentum so you always want to be very careful in this situation you want to use really you know not too risky buttons at this range and you pick your spots once you get a, a good understanding with your opponent oh, okay he's gonna use you know a a into down a you know you can be like all right block the first two hits boom boom how you doing you know things like that um you also want to be very weary very weary of your surroundings so if you're close to the corner or against the wall your character is at a disadvantage um you don't want to risk getting hit a lot near the corner because it can open up into really sticky positions um so like things like this may happen and that's a lot of damage you don't want when the soul cop like i mentioned earlier when it comes to movement if you you have to utilize that a lot it is the key <clears throat> the key of this game but there's something else that's even more important than movement in this game so in situations like these, you have to pick your buttons carefully and escape the wall, or you do situations where, you know, you force the opponent to the wall. So, like for instance, if I'm right here and I'm a safe free player, you know, bada boom, bada bang, and then you get your, you know, free damage or you know you, what have you, or if you're on the other way around, you know, the pressure them as much as possible until you get your free hit, and then you know whatever um another really important thing about this game in neutral and to me is the most important thing is whiff punish soul caliber you're going to do a lot of poking it's just mainly just you moving around picking your spots you see an opponent with something skadoosh you hit them with your go-to punisher and it depends on what thing that they do you know it's not going to be the same thing so <clears throat> For example, if a uh, if a safe read if if Keelik right here right, for instance, if Keelik saw me with this, you see if he created enough space, so he's moving around a lot. He whiffs a button, he backdash, all right. So he could do uh, a setup and then backdash, and all of a sudden this move would whiff. He sees that he's gonna critical edge, critical edge easy damage there's no reason not to do it it's it's a, a really strong tool for whiff punishing in this game when you when you react to it and it's so good um, a lot of characters should utilize it a lot and there's many thing many ways you can do it you have to create your own opening you can do things like um, you can do things like do something like that you wait for your opponent to whiff one button boom got him got him with the bait or whatever you know things like that um that's mainly what you're gonna be focusing on and when it comes to soul charge uh you can also apply this into your knowledge too like if uh you can do things like bam and you can do like a combo and then follow up with soul charge and then now you got the advantage because it's hard knockdown and you get an okie off of it or you want them to get off of you, bam, get that out of the way. Never on my King Sienna. So there's options you gotta do. There are many things. And you know, there's also other key things you gotta pay attention to, like high attacks and lows. But um, like I all mentioned, it all just comes down to whiff punishing. So in this game, it's mainly focused on, you know, safe pokes, uh, movement, whiff punishing, and you gotta punish them hard too. A lot of moves in this game are actually pretty safe. Very rare is a character's moves are unsafe because certain ones are on paper unsafe. For instance, safe reads uh, 3B. But if you space it correctly, it's no, it's safe. You, there's nothing you can really do about it. Only when you misuse the move and you know not space it correctly is that move unsafe and that applies to a lot of characters and depending on your range is how your character's neutral game will work so um 
closer range character I deemed deem to be much more difficult to deal with up close, much more aggressive buttons up close, but they really struggle in the far range department because of the lack of range. So characters with a lot of range can bully them. And you can just play lame, like, oh man, let me just hit you from this range. You you moving a lot? Bam. And then you know, just play around with them. You don't even you don't have to commit up until when they get close and now they're scary. You know, cares like Tal and Maxi. Um Valdo. Well, Valdo has his whole body is the, is the weapon, so it doesn't even matter. Um, you also got to be extremely weary of, you know, the map. Map in uh, this game is heavily important. It can dictate how your neutral game will be, right? It can dictate how you can handle the match. Some I, that's how I see it, and the way I explain this is like um. Um, for instance, this stage has a wall back here, right? And there is no wall right there, alright? So, you can be like, alright, well, I get to pick which side I gotta be on. So, you'll probably make, like, specific combos that will... There's two types of people. People make specific combos that do wall carry to happen all the way to this end right here. And you have, like, a certain game plan to force them into knock him off and a lot of characters have buttons that will knock him off you know Seyfried has that you can knock him off that way or you have uh, buttons like this or you know what have you. there's many things that I can do to knock you off but you have to pick them in a very precise and non predictable way because once you get in this once you're right here the opponent is already thinking, okay, this bastard right here is trying to ring me out. I have to do something. They're going to think, I got to do something. Now. So you're going to start moving around. For instance, uh, most situations, um, they're already grounded, right? Let's have them grounded. Downed. All right, most instances, they're already downed. And if you down them, they're going to try to roll away from you, all right? So they're, you know... Like I mentioned before, positioning. So they're gonna try to roll away. You gotta follow them. Tech trap them as much as you want, and keep them on this side. It forces them to commit. And then once then, once you gotta commit, they will have to get up eventually. And once they get up, you can hit them with that. Um, hit them with the 50/50. And once they commit, if I can, oh there we go. I'm a dumb idiot. You know, once they, am I an idiot? I am an idiot. You know, down, crouching, normal. There we go. Boom. Ring out. Got him. Checkmate. But not every stage is the same. And you can also take into consideration how big it is. This stage is kind of, you know, it's a decent size. You can take advantage of the distance you have here. You know, some stages are really small. Some of them are really dangerous. Not all the stages are the same. Some of them, like I mentioned, are really small. Some of them are really big. Some of them are square shaped. Some are circular. Some have a wall on one end. The other one has no wall. Some of them are just really big and all walls. And you can really develop a game plan depending on the stage. It may sound like, on paper, it may sound like, alright, this dude is speaking duns. But it does have a factor, you know. The stage does have a big factor from the amount of times I played Tekken and I fall on Noctis stage, I'm already having a heart attack. You know, all right, for example, um, the positioning of the stage can be a big problem for some character because it can be too big and you don't have that much, um, what's what I'm looking for, wall carry or it's so big they can just lame you out or there's no wall certain characters you might want to just have they have like a lot of knockbacks you can take advantage of that like ivy if there's a stage with no walls jesus christ ivy is going to eventually snipe you out with her two a plus uh two a plus g and then you're just like what the f damn the knockback is ridiculous on that and then a wall splats too she benefits on two things so she sees that, she's guaranteed to snipe you with that. Why not? 
all the characters have to struggle with that, like Talon, because the knockback or her utility is not that great. So when it comes to a stage with walls, she benefits that a lot. She can add a lot more pressure. Same with Maxi. Um or like I care like Ashroth. When you do go to reversal edge and he choose B, sends your body flying, you know. Things like that. So you should really be taking consideration of what stage you play. Um, I hope this basic, basic um, demonstration of what I'm referring to and how to deal, you know, neutral in this game. Um, to refresh, you know, just to sum it all up, always remember that movement is important. Guarding, um, you know, step guarding is also important. <clears throat> And you also should always use safe pokes. The game is mainly revolved around pokes in this game. Once you get close, you might want to use more safer pokes, the ones you don't have to commit a lot, um, because now you're in battle zone, um, you know, phase, what I want to call it, battle zone phase, where you're going to be, you know, doing a lot more extra buttons and stuff, but you don't want to move because you're more prone into counter hits instead of you being in that far range. The stage matter, always take into consideration, make a game plan. What do I have to do? Um, nightmare stage, okay, it's too big. What am I gonna do? Things like that. Many things can come around with it. And once, you know, and every character's neutral is different, but once you play long enough, you can then build your own formula. If you have more questions, Feel free to um, you know ask in the comment section, and I will be willingly to help you out. If you like the video, leave a like, leave a comment, or subscribe. More Soul Calibur content coming in the future. I bid you guys a farewell, and do take care.